So tonight's finisher, we are doing eight exercises. Sorry, I'm gonna to have to block this one out a little bit. So eight exercises, I'm gonna do those three times through. So it's just 20 minutes in total. Um, the first and last uh, set we're gonna do for 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off. And that middle set's gonna be the tough one where it's 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So get, it starts off easy, gets a bit harder, finishes easier. Um, then the, so the first exercise that we are going to do tonight is a forward lunge. Again, dead straight forward. Just a big step forward, travel downwards rather than traveling forwards. Let that lower knee get down towards the mat, but not touching it, and just make sure you're at right angles. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, add in a twist towards that front leg, and then pushing up through the heels on that front leg. So never pushing up through your toes. The second exercise is a walkout to a press up. So again, just standing at the back of your mat or at the back of your space, walk it forward, press up, and then walk back up and just repeat that. If you're not confident with, if you've got a bad shoulder, or if you're not great with press ups and you don't want to do yourself any injuries, instead of doing that, you could do um, star jumps. So again, if you want to do more dynamic ones, the standard star jump, or if not, if you just want to do big side steps, it's almost like a sideways lunge and just bringing the arm above your head. Then the third exercise is a glute bridge. So we're lying on our backs, bringing our heels in towards our bones. You can put your hands across your chest and just pushing up through the heels. And again, if you want to make it a bit more difficult, you can take your toes off the floor so you're just on your heels. Or if you want to lift a leg up, do that and just swap over halfway through. And again, if you need to make it a bit easier, you can just widen where your feet are and that'll give you a sturdier base. The fourth exercise, you can either do just freestanding or you can use a wall. So I'll just move the camera just slightly. So if you are just going to do it freestanding, it's just a squat hold. So again, just letting your bum go back first into a nice squat position and hold that at the time. Or if you want, you can just, I don't really have a wall to use, I'm not going to go quite against the door, but just sitting back against the door and holding that there. Again, if you want to do a freestanding squat hold, try and do kind of 10 seconds holding it, Stand up, give yourself a bit of a shake off in the legs, and then go back down into your squat if you're struggling. Don't feel like you have to do the full time. Um, you can break it down and reset your positions. The fifth exercise is what's called lateral high knees. So instead of like a really dynamic kind of jogging, what we're going to do is just kind of widen our stance and just kind of reaching up from one hand and just crunch it up in the middle. So doing five on one side, so that's five, and just five on the other side. So again, it's quite dynamic still. It is crunching, but it's just not dead bouncy. Um, the sixth exercise, I'll just angle that down a little bit, are slow mountain climbers. So again, in a high plank position, and just bringing your knees in and making sure you're nice and controlled all the time, keeping your back straight. So your bum's not up, dead high, just nice and low, and just bringing your knees up between your arms. Um, again, if you're not if you're not going to do that because of your shoulders or if that's going to be an issue, I could do you could do flutter kicks. So just lying on your back with your fists underneath your bum and just flutter kicks on your feet. All you want to be coming up six to twelve inches off the floor and just make sure that your lower back's pinned in. So that's always an alternative there if you don't want to do the mountain climbers. The seventh exercise is a sit-up. So again, we're going to be down onto the mat. You can either do a little sit-up, or if you just want to, just put your hands on your legs and just crunch up until your hands are just going past your knee. That's always an alternative as well, and that's doing just as much good for your core. And then the last one, everyone's going to hate me for this one, is a crab touch. So onto your hands and feet, but on your back almost, and then just alternate arms and legs. Trying to not fall over like I just did. If you're not confident with that, what you can do is get yourself onto your hands and knees. So almost like a four point lift, lift yourself off and just alternate hand to knee. And again, just try and keep that body nice and stable as you do that. That's a bit of an easier one if you're not too confident doing the crab touch. So, as I said, 
we're going to go through three times and I'm just going to get my timer ready. No, that's not it. Bear with me. You'll probably want a drink at some point for this one. And right, so three sets of eight. So is everyone good to go? Thumbs up. Lovely, so we're gonna start with a forward lunge and again, that can be with a twist if you want. So we're going in three, two, one. When your leg goes forward on this one, it's the opposite arm that goes up. Okay, so 15 seconds rest before we go into the walkout press up. And again, if you're not confident if you've got bad shoulders or bad arms or bad uh, wrists, you can do star jumps instead. Okay, so a little bit of a rest before we go into a glute bridge. And again, there's all the variations. So to make it easier, you can widen your stance. To make it a bit more difficult, you can put your toes up. Or to make it more difficult still, you can take your one leg off the ground at a time. Okay, so up next you've got the squat hold. So you can either do this freestanding or if you want to do kind of a sit against a wall, that's always an option as well. There we go. So number five is our lateral high knees. So then kind of widen your stance. And off we go. And just do them in sets of five to make sure you get equal amounts on both sides. That's it, well done everyone. Well done, so we're moving on to slow mountain climbers. And again, if you've got a bad shoulder and you don't want to be doing these ones to aggravate that, you can always do flutter kicks. And again, it's just nice and slow and controlled. Get your bum down a bit, Mr. McDonald. That's better. Oh. So we're moving into the sit-up or the crunch. 
And again, as I said, you don't have to do a full sit up if you just want to bring your hands above your kneecaps. That crunch will do just as much good. So like that. Or you can do a full sit up. And then the last one is going to be the crab touch or the four point lift. So, again, take this at your pace, choose whichever one's going to be most comfortable for you. Really well done, everyone. Oh, so that's the first round done. So a little break. This one's a little longer per exercise, but you get more of a rest. You want me to do the second? Starting off with the forward lunge with a twist. And off we go. Right, walk out into a press up next. Or if you can't do these, star jumps. And we're going in five seconds. Off we go. So Alan does these um, just on his knees because he, he's not comfortable doing a full press up. That's one of the options you've got. And if people find the finisher just too tiring, you can stop halfway through each exercise if you want. Don't feel you've got to go to the very end of each one. Very hot, so. Perfect. At least one person took me up on my advice there, which is good. It's absolutely no policing here. We just try and make sure you do it within your capabilities and you don't kill yourself. A more genteel one now. We've got the glute bridge coming up in about five seconds. Remember, you can lift your, your toes, just rest on your heels if you want to make it a little bit harder. Even if you do that for five seconds and then pop them back down. Oh. Well done. So end number four is gonna be the squat hold. Or again, if you want to do a wall one, that's fine. And again, you can do these in little blocks of 10 seconds and then stand up and reset. Absolutely fine. And off we go.
With these I can see a, a range of different styles. Some people squat all the way down, some people are more at 45 degrees. Again, it's fine, it's whatever's comfortable for you, something you can, you can hold for the full time. If you do need to come back up, reset and go down again, just let yourself do that. It's quite a long time just to stay in a squat without a break. Go. Okay, you're done. So then, number five is the lateral high knees. Again, get into a bit of a wider stance. Turn your feet facing one way. I'm going in three seconds. Great work. From this end, looking at all the screens together, it looks like some kind of speeded up uh, pop video. There we go. So we're going to be going into the slow mountain climbers. And if you're not too confident with this because of arms or shoulders or upper body weight, then absolutely fine to do foot the kicks. Give those a go. Well done. Then number seven, the sit up or the crunch. I'm gonna go this way, so I'm not directly into the sun. Hope I don't hit my head. Because we've done a lot of core work already, you might find you can't keep this going the full time. So take a break in the middle or just stop halfway, have a longer rest, that's okay. Oh, well done. And then the last one for this round is the crab touch or the four point touch. So again, if you need to do it from your hands and knees and then just touching opposite hand to knee, that's absolutely fine. Oh, well done. 20 seconds rest, grab yourself a drink, and then we're going into the last round. Starting with a forward lunge. Last, yeah. With a twist, if you want to add that bit in.
Really good lunges, everyone. And again, it's not about the number of these that you can fit into 30 seconds. It's more about getting the technique right. You can see 30 seconds flies over this time, since we did 40 last time round. Next up, walk out into a press-up, where your alternative is star jumps. And again, you can go from your knees, you can widen your feet, that makes it a bit easier as well, gives you a bit more balance. And again, if you want to make it harder, you can narrow where your feet are. I've gone somewhere in between. Oh. So, Number three, going into a glute bridge. And off we go. That 30 seconds is flying over now, isn't it? Compared to doing 40. It's even faster when you're just watching. Well done, David. Oh, there we go. Well held, Bethany. Number four is a squat hold. If you're going to squat, like do a wall sit, absolutely fine. 30 seconds, see what you can do, see how long you can hold it for. And then if you need to, stand up and reset for a second or two. <laughs> Throw the ball for Rizzy, don't be cruel. Halfway. <laughs> really well done. Oh, well done. 15 seconds rest before we go into the lateral high knee. So Sideways high knee. Last ten seconds. Well done. Last time round for our slow mountain climbers or flutter kicks, if that's your alternative. And off we go. Well done, everyone. Great technique, Stephen. You've got them well trained. Oh, well done. Then we go into the sit up or the crunch. And then the last one, I believe, I'm just going to double check before I promise that. Yes, the last one, half touch or four point touch. And off we go.
Oh, there we go, we're done. Well done, everyone.